Hey everybody, uh, I've not made a video in a while and I think the reason I've mainly not made one is because I've been finding it difficult to find cool things to make videos about basically. So today I'm going to uh, talk about something that's called HTTrack and basically HTTrack allows you to copy or mirror any website on the internet to your local computer. Pretty cool. Um, so you can start by going to their website which is HTTrack.com tell I've already been there and uh, once you get there it just pretty much gives you a welcome message tells you what it does uh, which you can read for yourself uh, download from the internet to a local directory uh, building more directory da, 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 da. so it puts everything everything including the images and the JavaScript and the CSS and everything that is involved in a website and it moves it over to your computer um, so all you do is click the download link at the top and then you can choose your version, so whether you're using uh, you know, XP, Linux, um, Mac, OS. So for me it's going to be Windows 8, so I'm just going to click the link to download. And once it's finished, just launch it and it will be, this, be similar to pretty much every other installer you've ever used. Um, so go start off by just pressing next, accept the terms. Uh, read them if you want to, <laughs> uh, install it to wherever you want to install it to, I'm going to leave it back at its default location. Um, you might want to look through the options if you want to, you know, sort of change different things or, you know, it's pretty straightforward anyway, the setup for it. So just, I'm just going to, going to keep pressing next. Uh, once it's installed, I'm going to launch it. I'm not going to read the text file. And I'm just going to move it into the view here. Uh, so basically, this is what you get when you launch for the first time. Wow, amazing, I know. But not really. But still, it's a cool piece of software. So, all you do now is you click on Next to start. You uh, give it a project name, which is just for your reference, so you can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it My Website Copy. And then you, add, I haven't really had a chance to look into how this thing works majorly, so I'm just really going through the basics of how this works. There's a load of options in here that I haven't messed around with. I usually leave the category blank, but it's blank anyway. Uh, the base path is where you want to copy it to on your computer. Uh, so I'm just going to leave it and see my website. Press next, and now it's going to ask you for the web, uh, the web addresses and URLs that you want to sort of uh, find on the internet and move to your computer. So I'm going to move across my website, which is davidashcroft.co.uk. When it loads, you have to excuse me, my internet's like really slow. Um, basically, all you do is you click on the link or copy it, whichever URL you want to copy. Uh, you can then just minimize it, go across to HTTrack, paste the link in. Uh, I don't think it matters if you include the HTTP with or without. Um, I'll just make sure my website's actually working because if it's not, that's not a good thing. Oh yes, it is working eventually. Um, so basically what this is going to do is it's going to get my website here and it's going to copy it to my computer. So I've copied it into there, the link, and I'm going to press next. Uh, I've left all this as, as the default, like I said, I haven't really looked into the options, but this is sort of more advanced stuff, and essentially if you leave everything as, it, as its default, it will just get um, the website and its internal files. So you can see it's um, grabbing about three files at a time on average, it gets all the images as well, all the CSS, all the Java, any files that are internal within the website, it, w it will try at least try to get. And um, from what I've uh, from what I've tried it on, it's pretty accurate. Damn good, bloody good, damn good stuff. Right, so give it a minute, and it'll copy everything. Sh sh shouldn't take too long because my website is actually based on one index file, and it's actually all on the same page. So everything else that it's getting is just going to be. Uh, CSS and images, things like that, so it shouldn't take too long. Um, once it's finished, it will move the files into where I where, where I previously told it to go, which would have been in my website. 
and if you remember I called it my website copy, so you go into there, uh, it puts a load of cached things. Now I believe um, these these things are if you want to upgrade uh, or upgrade or copy the same website again in the future, it will just overwrite directories. So I'm not really sure how that works, but uh, you can see my website that I've copied is uh, davidashcroft.co.uk. It's not finished yet, but it's building on it. Um, there may or may not also be other folders included in this. For example, if you get your Java engine from Google, um, it will list a Google directory in here so that you can use it locally, if that makes sense. Um, so there may be other folders listed in here. So for me, in fact, if I let it finish, if it like decides to hurry up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, eleven. Yes. Okay. Cool. I'll shut up now. Come on, today would be nice and whatnot. Yes. I tell it. Oh no. There you go. Cool. Okay, so once it's finished, it comes up that it's finished, you press finish, and there you go, you can exit the application. Cool, done, sorted, nice. <clears throat> and then there you go, you can see it's copied my website to my local computer. So if I click on the index file, it should look exactly like it looks like. You can see there's the local directory. It looks exactly the same as the actual website. Same with the images, images are all in there. Uh, all the assets, like I said, JavaScript, CSS, it brings down as well. Um, and it's not, it doesn't actually seem to have made any mistakes in copying my website. It's really good. Um, it, you know, it's well worth a try. If you start to try and do it on bigger websites like YouTube or Facebook, expect it not to pick certain aspects or files up or expect it to take hours to complete or just fail because I haven't actually tried it, but with smaller websites and, um, you know, websites that aren't as big as Facebook and YouTube, you know, it's, it's pretty good and it's definitely worth a try. So head on down to hdtrack.com, download it for yourself and give it a go. Um, enjoy and I hope it helps. Thank you for watching. Au revoir.